Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Karibu sana katika kipindi kingine ndani ya channel ya Skills Learning Network Excellence Knowledge. Kama kwanza unatembelea channel hii tafadhali ni kuombe uweze kujiunga nasi kwa kubonyeza alama ya subscribe lakini usisahau kuruhusu alama ya kengele au alama ya notification ambayo itakuwa unapata taarifa tukiwa tunaweka video mpya ambayo ni video nzuri na uweze kujifunza zaidi. Na kama ulikuwa ni miongoni mwa watembeleaji wa channel hii nikushukuru sana na uzidi kuwa nasi usichoke kuna mambo mazuri ambayo yanazidi kuja katika channel hii. Kwa majina yanaitwa Mr. Maguru na dili katika Physics, Chemistry na Biology. Ukiwa na shida yoyote katika masomo haya ya Physics, Chemistry na Biology Practicals, kuongeza ujuzi ni jambo la muhimu sana. Kila siku lazima uwe bora uweze kufanya vizuri zaidi. Na mimi najifunza kutoka kwa kwa kutokana na kila mbacho taniuliza na kifanyia kazi na zidi kuongeza ujuzi. Sote tunazidi kuwa bora kadili siku zinavyo sogea. Kwa leo nipu katika somo la biology, nitakuonesha video ambayo inaelezea classification of living organism, one specimen ambaye ni miongoni mwa organism ambaye anatoka katika mitiani, kuanzia mitiani ya ndani ya shuru, lakini pia ya mikoa, lakini pia ya kitaifa. Kwa hiyo, kama wanafunzi wa kidato cha nne au kidato cha sita, anapaswa kufahamu organizimu huyu na aweze kumsoma akiwa ni kuanzia mwanzo hadi mwisho na aweze kumuelewa ili akutana na maswali asiwe ni mgeni wa organizimu huyo au maswali hayo sasa moja kwa moja tunaenda kujifunza organism anaitwa scorpion the topic what is the classification of scorpion or we go to the class to see how can you classify organism called a scorpion other specimen in our biology practicals na mwisho nitakueleza kile ambacho unapaswa kukifanya ili uweze kuongeza ujuzi zaidi na uweze kuwa mwanafunzi bora karibu tena tuzidi kwa pamoja twende darasani tuweze kujifunza zaidi Now we study classification of scorpion. Scorpion is among of organisms you supposed to study in biology practical. This is the labeled diagram of scorpion. Classification of scorpion. Common name scorpion kingdom animalia phylum arthropoda class arachnida observable features of scorpion one it has pedipalps 2. It has chelicerae. 3. It has four pairs of jointed appendages. 4. It consists of two body parts, cephalothorax and abdomen, pre-abdomen and post-abdomen. 5. It consists of simple eyes. 6. It has sting. Distinctive characteristics of scorpion be placed to its class arachnida. Why scorpion belongs to class arachnida? Reasons is because 1. 
it consists of two body parts, namely cephalothorax, head and thorax, and abdomen or opisthosoma. 2. It has no antennae but have a pair of pedipalps, fangs, for sensory and defense purposes. 3. It consists of simple eyes. It consists of four pairs of walking legs. 5. It carries out gaseous exchange through trachea or book lung. 6. It has no wings. 7. It has no mouth parts. 8. It undergoes carnivorous modes of feeding. Habitats of Scorpion Scorpion is found in terrestrial habitats. Scorpion can be found in mountains, deserts, caves, beaches, coasts, and trees. Mode of Feeding of Scorpion Scorpion undergoes carnivorous modes of feeding. Mode of respiration and gaseous exchange of scorpion. Scorpion carries out gaseous exchange through book lung. Mode of Reproduction of Scorpion Scorpion undergoes sexual reproduction. Economic Importance of Scorpion 1. It is a source of food for other organisms such as snakes and lizards. 2. It is predator for some other small organisms. 3. It is used in scientific laboratories for research or study such as medical research. 4. It spreads diseases such itching and allergy which may cause someone to attend hospitals. To understand more the lesson, make review on these questions. Assuming that, scorpion is specimen S, and answer the following questions. Identify specimen S by common name. Classify specimen S to the class level. What are the observable features of specimen S? What is the mode of feeding of specimen S? What is the mode of reproduction of specimen S? Outline the advantages and disadvantages of specimen S. By using observable features, differentiate specimen S from housefly. Name the habitat of specimen S. Now, we end up here for the classification of scorpion. Nadhani baada ya kujifunza hapo sasa umeelewa kile ambacho ilikuwa nakuambia hapo mwanzo na kweli umefaidika. Uniandikie kupitia comment kile ambacho umejifunza au unahitaji video gani ambayo unapaswa kuifahamu 
au organism ambaye unahitaji kufahamu zaidi lakini pia unaweza kuuliza maswali tofauti ili uweze kujua zaidi na katika biology practical uweze kufaulu vizuri katika mitihani yako na kingine zaidi ni kwamba sehemu nyingi ambazo inabidi usome nimekuandalia kitabu kizuri ambacho kina topic zote kina maswali na majibu na na vitu vingi ambavyo mwanafunzi unapaswa kuvifahamu na kuvifanyia mazoezi ili uweze kutimiza ndoto yako ambayo au uweze kutimiza malengo yako ukiwa katika level ya sekondari kitabu chetu kinaitwa biology practical guide for ordinary level secondary school ni kitabu bora kina kila kitu na kina mwongozo mzuri kwa wanafunzi wa kidato cha nne kama we ni mzazi uchukulie mwanao kitabu hiki wanafunzi aweze kujisomea na kufaulu ni gharama nafuu sana na atakipata kwa mawasiliano ambayo yapo katika description utachukua namba unaweza kaniandikia ujumbe au kupiga kabisa au kwa wasiliana nami kupitia WhatsApp. Shukrani sana katika siku ya leo. Siku nyingine na wakati mwingine.